I am Joshua Mann, and you're watching Mind Pollution Gaming. And if I don't beat Daniel, I'm gonna light his house on fire. Mind Pollution Gaming. It's easier to fucking shoot zombies than it is to peel a carrot. What the fuck? Peel it. You're a dick. And so my conclusion is either ghosts aren't real, which is a possibility. I know, woohooers, you don't want to hear that. Or just that ghost dig me. <laughs> like the ghosts are like, no, don't fuck with this guy. Now let this guy stay. His wife, fuck her. <laughs> we want her out. He can do better. I think I might be bipolar. No, you're not. Borderline. Would you stop it? Don't be one of these people who wants a mental illness just to feel special. You know how many of those people I see? Many. Too many. You're special just the way you are. I am? Yes, you are. I get that you're lonely, and that you feel misunderstood, but that's the stuff that gives you your gift. What's up guys, welcome to Mind Pollution Gaming. My guest today knows how to time travel and how to tell jokes. And his name is Joshua Mann. Oh, hi. You're here again. And I, now I gotta explain. We shot this episode a couple of weeks back and something didn't record. So we're back and then we're gonna jump to what we shot before because it was actually pretty funny and I don't wanna fake shit. So I listened to the audio. Yeah. So I know what we did and what we played. All right. So what you won't see is us playing Bubble Bobble. You won't see us playing Super Bomberman. I won both. I won both games. And then we'll switch to us playing Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. Which I may not have won, but I know I won the two that, that you won't see. You're already holding the controller? You have a yeah, your gaming I'm ready to gloves? Go. I got my gaming gloves on. All right, fuck it. So I'm excited to see how different my hair looks between the two. Well, I know I was wearing a white shirt or some shit. Yeah, I don't know what I was wearing, but I know I got a haircut today. So my hair looks I can tell, totally I was already- Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's very soft. It's amazing. You can touch it if you yeah. want. It's super soft. Oh my God. Isn't that crazy? It's like a kitten. I know, it's like an adorable kitten on my head. Damn. Everybody should get to touch my hair. I agree. Um, okay, we're gonna play Sega CD. Yep. Which one do you want to play? Cadillac and Dinosaurs or Cliffhanger? I think Cadillac and Dinosaurs. I think you can't go wrong with that title like that. I've heard it's the Cadillac and Dinosaurs of video games. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, Sega CD, we're doing it. There are gonna be so many technical difficulties, just like last time. I don't think so. You don't think so? You think we got it? I think we're good. I don't know, my start button's not working, so Maybe all right. Maybe it's one. Well, that's amazing about the Sega CD where they were like, oh, we can put video in a yeah. game now. Yeah, it was like the first one. Yeah. Did you have one back then? I had the Sega CD thing, and I remember playing uh, Dragon's Lair. Dragon's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lair. yeah, yeah. And it was, oh my God. It was That was mind-blowing back then, yeah. for sure. Dude, Dragon's Lair was the best video game ever for a while. Not used to driving in the fucking jungle. Stop hitting things. Oh my God, you're so bad at driving. I know that's a goal. Oh my God, fuck. This game is very strange. Yeah, why is there no enemies? Like all I have is fucking rocks right now. Shit. And still you couldn't drive. You killed us. There's no checkpoints? What the fuck, man? This is nonsense. This game is the worst. All right, Josh, so I'm gonna pretend like I don't know this. Okay. When did you move to LA? I'm gonna pretend like I do. Um, I moved here like 17 years ago. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yeah, I think. I think it scans. From Chicago? Yeah. Why, why did you move here? Like, what was your reason? I actually um, was doing stand up in Chicago, and an actor who was shooting a television show in Chicago saw me do stand up mm -hmm. and was like, I'm gonna tell my manager about you. Oh, shit. Sure. And, uh, a management company, you hit the dinosaur again. You gotta stop hitting the dinosaur. A management company flew a manager out to Chicago, met with me, mm -hmm. and they were like, do you wanna move to LA? We wanna rep you. And I was That's like, awesome. yeah, all right, let's do it. I moved out here with $300 in the bank. Actually on me. I didn't even, like I started a bank account when I got Oh, seriously? Here. 
Yeah, that's I moved awesome. down here with three hundred dollars. Oh shit! And opened up a Wells Fargo account. That's what I did, man. That's yeah. my, that was my first bank account here. Gotta go with Wells Fargo. So proud of my American bank account. Your first bank account in America was Wells Fargo. Yeah. Solid. Very, very American. Yeah. Boom, man. Don't yeah, hit that one either. Oh, go. we're so much further than that. Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta avoid the dinosaurs. Which is like everybody's rule with dinosaurs. Oh my! Oh, that's a tree. Yeah. Yeah, you hit the tree. All right. From you do a lot of things, just like me. We I died. do. I do so many things. So, how would you describe what you do to somebody who doesn't know you? Um, I do stand-up comedy. Mm -hmm. I travel a lot for that, which is fun. I like it a lot. I also write. Um, I get hired a lot to do rewrites and punch up on movies. Fix shitty scripts? Yeah, or at least make decent scripts funnier. Mm -hmm. I won't say shitty. But uh, yeah, I get paid to make movies funnier. You're a ghostwriter almost. I am a ghostwriter. Which I'm sure in some cases is good and in some cases is not so good. Sure. <laughs> if it's like a really shitty movie, you're like, I'm glad yeah. my name is not on that. I know. There have been a few where I'm. There have been a few movies where I'm like, oh man, I really wish my name was on that. Yeah. But like 80% of them, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so glad my name's not on that. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> like no one will ever know. That's awesome. So when did you start with comedy? When you said you started? I started when I was uh, 18 years old. Like my first day of college, uh -huh. I also went to my first open mic. Oh shit. Yeah which was uh, daunting and weird, and I'm sure I was terrible. Yeah. But I just got weirdly hooked on it. And then you oh. stopped for a while, right? Yeah, I stopped doing stand-up for about seven, eight years because I was working, um, I was producing trailers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, I stopped doing stand-up after September 11th because everybody, <laughs> everybody seemed so crazy and angry in America. Oh. And looking back, Compared to now, it was paradise. Yeah, it was like a Cinnabon. <laughs> like I remember, it was just lovely back then, compared to what it is now. Oh, shit. Everybody now is just bonko. Yeah. Don't get out of the way, Donnie. What? what? I didn't fucking hit anything. Fuck you. You hit the dinosaur. No. Yeah. You know the title is better than the actual game. Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Yeah. So far, though, all there's been is Cadillacs and dinosaurs. It's, so well, at least they didn't lie. So yeah, it delivers kind of, what it promises. Yeah, I guess. When you yep. started out, yeah. What was your shittiest gig? I think my worst gig ever actually was in uh, Santa Barbara. Okay. Um, I was doing stand-up at this awful bar show, and I did some joke where I like kind of made fun of the notion that God exists. Uh -huh. When I was young, I was very opinionated. I got off stage and everything was fine and the comic after me made like some reference uh, about God also not existing mm -hmm. and an audience member threw a chair at him. Holy shit. And it almost hit him in the head. He like randomly like fucking Jason Bourne ducked. That was and that was your chair. It yeah, was supposed to be you. Totally, it was totally meant for me. But the audience member like finally before he lost it, I he was, was like, done. <laughs> Should we switch to cliffhanger or are you going to just keep driving into Brontosaurus? Well, I can also have you drive if you think oh, you're better. I don't know. Okay, hold up. Brontosaurus, by the way, has to be the, the plural of Brontosaurus. It's also where young dinosaurs go to school. They go to <laughs> Brontosaurus school. <laughs> oh, shit. This is the world's worst joke. We got it on tape. Yeah, we have Brontosaurus School on tape. <laughs> Trademark. Chuck <laughs> Norman. Would you shoot some of the things I keep hitting, oh, please? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Thank shit, you. you can't even aim at shit. I yeah. mean, like, like, charge it. Look at this. Yeah, charge it and fucking shoot it. <laughs> Instead of, like, making me hit it. Shoot something. I'm just bouncing off all this shit. By the way, I made it way further than you did your first time. Well, yeah, Your first time you, you hit the first dinosaur. I know, because you had 20 times to look at what's coming. I didn't see shit. Can we at least get to the fucking second level? Like, this is ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe as long as I'm driving, we have a shot. <laughs> since I'm so much better at it than you are. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, I'm so good at driving. Maybe but, I'm also just better at shooting, so you don't have to drive as precise. What's amazing about this is you don't drink, and you couldn't drive past the dinosaurs. By the way, I probably would get a DUI right now, mm -hmm. and I totally am driving so much better than mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, we, we are done for today, but now we're gonna switch to the original episode. Now we're gonna time travel back to, when did we shoot that? November? I think so, yeah. Let's go back to November, man. All right. What? what? Where's the fucking... I don't know, 2B? What the fuck? That says Z and N. <laughs> Where's B? Oh, B's probably the trigger. Oh yeah, it is. I guess, because we were shooting it. Yeah. Okay. I'm aiming at herbs. Why would I aim it at herb? It's hard to see this shit. This is almost like duck hunt. It is almost like duck hunt. I want to get back first, but light gun shooters don't work on TVs like that. At least what the are old you calling ones. light end shooter? Light gun. Oh, light gun. Why is it light gun? What's that? Because they used to shoot with, oh, light, with light at the screen. I thought you meant like light, like it wasn't heavy. <laughs> like, oh, it's a light shooter. That too. Like, well, that too. Like, Duck hunt's a serious yeah. shooter, but this is you know. This is a light gun shooter. People. It's a light gun game. Pick up. I don't know if you saw the points, but uh, no. Okay, good. I'm glad you did. I'm very, very glad. Yours was like 120 and mine was like 40. Well, huh? I like hit four things. What made you decide to start comedy? Like was that... The first time? Yeah, like in general that you were like, okay, I'm gonna do this shit now. I was a theater major and a physics major in college. I was a double major. Oh, wow. And I realized like stand-up comedy is the one thing you don't have to like audition for right, or right. get a production for. You just go do it. And I started trying it and found that I had, like, I fell in love with it. Yeah. What was your inspiration for your bits? I started out by doing political stuff, and now I just kind of talk about my horrible childhood <laughs> and, and just stuff I think is funny. So is that therapeutic for you? It has been, actually. It's been really therapeutic to talk about my childhood, because my, my childhood's super dark and yeah. weird. So it's been like, it's really, it's like, I used to have a lot more issues with my parents uh -huh. before I started talking about them. And then now that like I joke about my mom being right. physically abusive, uh -huh. I'm just like, oh, it doesn't affect me nearly as much now. Uh -huh. It's kind of awesome. Well, because you have an outlet now, instead yeah. of like keeping it in. So through comedy, is that how you started also writing or is it somebody yeah. came up? Through stand-up, I started meeting a lot of people who had read scripts, and then friends of mine asked me to read their scripts, and then I gave a couple friends of mine who are far more successful than I notes, mm -hmm. and then they were like, wait, what? Like, and that's kind of how I got into it, just by right. helping friends out. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and then I now I'm writing my own stuff and trying to sell it. Nice. Which is super easy. I don't know if you know that about Hollywood, but like if you call anybody and you're like, oh, I've got a movie, they're just like, yeah, let's make it. Yeah, I know. Especially nowadays, they're like, yeah. yeah send send us your script. We would love to read it. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> it's the easiest thing in the world. I don't know why more people don't do it. I don't know how everybody doesn't just have a movie. Yeah. And you were in a movie. What? And, I was in a movie and called Andover. Andover. Yeah, that uh, Jonathan Silverman was the lead of. Yeah. I played a cop in it. And it was something about... Uh, it was about cloning. Right. Yeah, it was about a dude whose wife died. And he cloned her. Yeah, he couldn't like Multiple let go. Multiple times, right? So he, yeah, he just started cloning her and it just kept not working out. As, you know, I imagine it does. I like that we're in a church. I know. And like, there are 60 zombies that were just chilling like behind pews. I know. They're, They're like, like, let's wait till they come in. Yeah. Fuck. I don't want the fucking plant. Well, you collected the, the submachine gun. I collected a stupid ass plant. You know what? If more people collected plants <laughs> than machine guns, the world would be a better place. <laughs> oh, look at You're falling off a, a cliff. Oh, shit. No! No! It's a white gorilla. It's Honky Kong. You say Honky Kong because <laughs> it's a white gorilla? That's pretty solid. Whoa! She just asked me if I killed 23 people? <laughs> what a specific amount. Seriously? <laughs> like, did you kill like 20 how, people? How, how do you remember that? <laughs> Are we in Vietnam and I'm just murdering people? <laughs> what the f- What the fuck? So my backstory is that I just <laughs> fucking murdered a village? This is the way you deal with your PTSD. I think that's what it is. I love, yeah, but I love that like I'm a little conflicted because I, I was ordered to. <laughs> Zombie bats are attacking us and she's like, but Billy, 
<laughs> we killed all those people. Tell me about that. Oh, we just died. Oh, we yeah, died. Yeah, you are dead. Okay. It yeah. doesn't. I like how you automatically went to <laughs> no. <laughs> like, continue? No. No. Fuck no. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Fuck this. I'm um, gonna switch games? Yeah. All right. We got the mystery bag. Oh, jeez. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. What? Cooking Mama cook up. I picked this up yesterday, and I didn't want to just put one game in there, so I was so hoping that it would be this. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> wow. Look at the drawing, though. It's amazing. I love Cooking Mama. You can make lasagna, tacos, or sushi. <laughs> it's not cooked. <laughs> hot dog or a hot dog. Or a hot dog. That's also not cooked. That's heated. That's amazing. Cooking mama, no. What the fuck? Oh, fuck you. It's not... There's nothing happening, though. Can I fucking... How do you turn it? Oh, suck it. <laughs> how do you fucking turn it? I'm way ahead of you on the peeling. <laughs> Damn. Fucking peel the rest of it, you... How the fuck... Come on! Oh, it automatically fucking turns, okay. It was easier to fucking shoot zombies than it is to peel a carrot. <laughs> what the fuck? Peel it! You're a dick. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're way fucking ahead of me. How many ingredients are there? I think it's... Oh, done. You're a dick. I'm done. Best two dollars I ever spent. The irony of this is I actually can cook and you don't even eat. And well, you're winning at cooking, Mama. Well, it's the way of life, man. What are we doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Oh my god, this That's is... That's the grossest looking bacon I've ever seen. That was like a ham. Combined with that move? Yeah. <laughs> Just jacking off to slice bacon. <laughs> what the fuck are we supposed to do? I don't know. I, why did mine go to finished? I don't... <sighs> what? You went on finished? I don't know how. But it just, evidently I thought my soup was done before cooked. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Fucking cooking mama. This game is awesome. This game's pissing me off. What? What the <laughs> fuck? Oh wow, that's fucking easy. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no shit. What'd you do? Ah, come on, it's so easy. How do you pick shit up? What the fuck? Oh, fucking. You mother. 166. Man, I'm such a good cook, it's crazy. I wanna play a game on like a proper console, like an Xbox or something. We're gonna do that. <laughs> Bullshit. I'm so glad you picked that game. I hate this game so much. It's so awesome. I hate it so much. What did you want to be as a kid? When I was very, very, very little, I think I wanted to be uh, the quarterback of the Chicago Bears or a pitcher for the Chicago Cubs. I played a lot of sports as a kid. I think it was high school when I was like, oh yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Um, and then I wanted to be, I think by the time I was in high school, I wanted to be an actor. When, oh, really? When I realized that I was never going to play sports. All right, one more. Uh -huh. um, what else do they have here? Some American? What's the American or? dish? Oh my God, go back to America, because that's amazing. It's popcorn. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking hilarious. All right, let's make that popcorn. That is what that is, right? That's that popcorn. is popcorn for sure. Oh my God, let's that's amazing. Popcorn. Yeah, the American... American dish popcorn. This should be one step. 
Yeah, put it in the microwave. All right. And now? I might, I mean, nothing's fucking happening and I can't, oh, something happened. Oh, okay. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, that's how you do it? I don't fucking know. <sighs> there have to be instructions that you're just skipping over because they can't just expect us to intuitively know this crazy shit. When the shit. bottle blinks, shake the Wii remote. Shake with good timing to season perfectly. Yeah, see, you fucking... <laughs> is this shaking? Is this shaking? What's shaking? I think so. You fucking dick. All right, one more game. All right, one more game. Any other console, please. Okay. Okay. I have one. PlayStation 2. We're gonna play Metal Slug. All right. Anthology. Okay. Metal Slug Anthology. You don't want to be player one? I think this is player one. <laughs> this literally says player one on it. That says player two. That's that's how you remember which is which? Like, oh, it's the one that doesn't say player one. Did you press start two? Oh, there you go. No. What? You're player two, I think. Oh, so it's actually right. Yeah, Why? why would you... But that's even weirder that you would just assume it wasn't. Martha, Tarma, Theo, Ralph. Oh, Clark looks like a badass. Clark actually looks like you. Yeah, I should be Clark. You want to be okay. Clark? He looks like you. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick him. Only this dude, he kind of looks like he has my hair. <laughs> oh, we're dropping in. This is badass, man. Where do we shoot? Okay. Where do I throw shit? Oh, oh, that's a grenade. Oh, sweet. Oh, we kill guys. And birds. This is great. I love this already. What is that? Is that a hippie? What's that guy doing? What did he do? Is he flashing? You got your little Nazi tank that you stole. Dude, whoever made this video game did a lot of drugs. And what I, is happening? I think everybody watching this um, should play this game because it's amazing. Oh no, that guy's head got oh eaten. My oh my god. he turned into an evil one. Oh shit. This shit. game is fucking amazing. It is, right? Just from a standpoint of nonsense. I know, this is like... By the way, I thought I was you for the last like 30 seconds dude, and I was just standing too. on the I side of the screen. I didn't want to say it, but yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I'm that other dude. <laughs> I think we have unlimited lives, which is awesome. Yeah, we theoretically could just play this for the rest of our lives. That's amazing. So if we if we liked weed, Vulcan fix. What does that mean? I don't know. Was our Vulcan broken? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck. That's like some Mars attacks shit. That's amazing, that thing. Oh, I'm about to die in like a half a second. Yep, there we go. I died. Man, when is this fucking dying? Like it doesn't even Show us what the health of this thing is like. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ew, look at this eyeball just pop Damn. out. Well, that was fun. Yeah, it was. Great, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, anyways, you got shows every, what is it, first Monday of the month? It's uh, it's usually the third Monday of the third month. Third Monday of the month, and then the one on, at the comedy store is? it. The one at the store, it just Every is, Sunday? No, no, it's just they give me a oh, random okay. date. All right, and you do a lot of writing right now. Yeah. So, but we won't know what it is because it goes. It's uncredited. <laughs> yeah. But uh, also, I'm Joshua Lee Man on Instagram and the Twitter. Yeah, we we will show You'll that right here. Tire on it. Right here. <laughs> so follow this man. Uh, go visit his shows. Yes. He might make you laugh. Probably. Oh, shit. Great. Thank you again. Thank you, bub. And yeah, see you guys next time. Yeah, see you at the next episode. Oh yeah, subscribe to this channel. Because yeah. I keep forgetting this shit. You should subscribe to it. <laughs> yeah, that, what he just said. <laughs> All right. Bye. Mind Pollution Gaming.